Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the publish last operator. If you see this publish last operator, so the name itself indicates that it will give you the last value of an observable. So that means something like last operator only and it's a multi, what I can say is multi casting op observable. So it will give you the last value. So if you try to remember this one, this is same exactly like an async subject. So where the async subject will give you the last emitted value after completion. So when the subject is completed only, then it will send you the last emitted value. It wait for the subject to be completed and then only after that one software completes, it will send you the last emitted value. So the same scenario, if you want to convert an observable to an async subject uh, multicast observable means then you can use this publish last operator. As we already know that in RX RxJS 7.0, this publish last operator is also deprecated. So we need to use this connectable and we need to give a configuration of connector with an async subject. So that will uh, give you the last value of the observable when it is completed. So now let's try to see that one in a, so here you'll be able to see this marble diagram in the same thing publish last. So what are the source observable it is there, it will give you the last value. Similar to publish, it will, it will wait until the source of it comes, completes and stores the last emitted value. Similarly to publish replay and publish behavior. So we have seen about this publish behavior. So publish replay, we will see it in the next video. So the same thing happens. So now let's try to see how it will, uh, how the publish last will work. Let's try to see. Now, if I open here, so here I will have, now here I am creating a new component, ng gc pages slash publish last operator remember that so this publish last operator is similar to the async subject now let's go to this operators or otherwise uh, let's go to this operators dot component dot html and here what i will try to do is i will try to write publish last and here you can use publish last now he let's go to the app routing so why i'm explaining this publish last and these operators these operators are so so many people are using still the rxj 6.0 so they will be having a doubts this one so implementing this one the, in the in the rxj 6.0 these are not deprecated so that is the reason i'm explaining you about this publish last so if you are, if you are using this uh, what i can say rxj 7.0 means you can go with an uh, async subject or otherwise you can use the connectable observable to connect this one so publish last operator component right so publish last let's see so whether it will come or not it's not coming let's one second yeah so it is not showing for us publish last operator component yeah it is showing so let's import this component and then now we'll go to the initialization so the component and here let's assume that i have a source Okay, I will show you the older representation how we will be implementing and I will be having an interval of 1000 for every one second it will release the values, it will emit the values and now here let us say that I have applied pipe of publish last. So I want to use this publish last operator, yeah okay. So there is no parameters for this one. Now let us assume that we have a one subscriber source dot subscribe of data and I will get the data here I will be doing console dot log of data okay so console dot log of observer one plus data okay and what I can do is so another one we are having source dollar dot subscribe so I am subscribing to another <coughs> And I will be doing console.log observer2 plus data. So what I will try to do is, so here I will do set timeout. So here I will take this source dollar and here I will apply. So for 4000, after 4, th after four seconds, this uh, second subscriber, second observer will come. And now what I will try to do, here is a publish last is there, right? So interval for every second, it will it will emit the values. Now let's try to see the output. If I try to see the output, 
and let's go to the operators and here let's inspect the element and let's go to this publish last and here let's go to console and here if i click on the publish last so what is happening so we are not able to see any values why we are not able to see any values this publish last also will emit the connectable observable so now what i need to do i need to do the type casting as connectable observable of what is the type of number it is it is it will be giving you number okay so that is the type and here what we need to do as it is a connectable observable so we need to emit the we need to call connect method so that the observable observable will start emitting the values now if you try to see so now observable will start emitting the values but still you will be not able to see the values why because this interval will not be completed so it will go on sending you the values infinitely so 0 1 2 3 so on go on infinitely values for every one second it will give you the incremental values then what i need to do so here i can use something like take off 4 so that means it will take only the first four values and it will complete it will call the complete method now let's try to see what could be the output here let's keep the comma and let's try to see the output here oh it will be reloaded yeah so now here if you try to see the output after four seconds you will be getting observer one got a value of two and observer two also got a value of three that is the last emitted value before the observable completion so this is how publish last will send you the last emitted value when this observable is completed until and unless observable is not completed it will not send you the values when this observable is completed only then it will send you the last value to all the observers that has been subscribed so now what i will try to do is let's try to implement the rxjs latest version so in the same scenario i will be having a source okay dollar is equal to new sorry not a new it's a just connectable method okay connectable so in this one we need to send interval okay and we need to tell <coughs> interval okay we have imported so thousand thousand milliseconds so that means one second and we need to tell the object also so what is the type of connector so it the type of connector will be new async subject okay so let's take this async subject that's it so now we have called the connector and let's take this one here this both the things okay and here what i will try to do and here let's paste it here and i am commenting out so now so this is a connectable observer if you try to see over here you will be able to see connectable of number connectable this is a connectable observable now here what it will try to do is we are subscribing to the other to all these things and here let's try to call this connect source dollar dot connect okay now if i try to connect and if i try to see the output so the same uh, the same situation happens here also what is that happening is so we are not able to get the value why because this interval will never be completed it will be going on sending you the data now i want to stop it so where i can stop it i can use the pipe operator and i can take and i can add take off five or take off four something like this then i will get the after after emptying the five values by the interval so this interval will be completed now it will give you the last emitted value if you try to see the output let's try to see the output so if you try to see the output see here you'll be able to see the observer one and observer two is getting the values for that is the last emitted value by the interval before it's complete so like this also you can use this connectable using connectable in the rxj7 or after the rxj7 so it uh, might be at the time of this recording the latest version is the 7 so tomorrow maybe rxj8 will be there so this is the uh, version how we will be using before that rxj7 or anything means you can use it uh, you can use the code like this okay hope you understood about this uh, publish last operator in the next video we will see about this publish replay also hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.